where in the world does justice fit into our own inner healing and maybe even the creative design of the world or even the universe? Ever wondered about that? Come on, let's see how we can use our own inner garden to cultivate a little bit more justice and even look at justice in a different way. We'll dig into the soil of all of this stuff together. Welcome to you, my friend. I am D. Grant Smith, the growth farmer for personal development through the lens, spirituality, and storytelling. Here on this channel, we talk about a lot of stuff, including the journey in becoming the best version of ourselves, living our dreams, self-love, inner healing, manifestation, and a whole lot more. If you want more from me, including some awesome and inspirational short fiction novels, courses on spirituality, and self-love, private coaching, and a whole lot more, please visit growthfarming.com. Now, as you know, one of my favorite ways of teaching is through the power of dynamic storytelling, which is why I share my stories and short novels exclusively at my website, growthfarming.com, because they are full of personal growth and spiritual jewels that will help you transform your life. And since I talk so much about storytelling and I always point people over to my website, I thought, why not share a short story today with you guys to help you have a little bit of an insight into what it's like to do some storytelling with D. Grant. So today I'm telling a short story that really isn't found anywhere else and deals with the idea of justice as it relates to our own personal growth, our inner healing and creative design. Ready for it? All right, here we go. I call the story The Transcendental Power of Justice in Creative Design and Inner Healing. It's a prompt-driven narrative of a mystical creature's influence on creative people. Here's the story. The world is a vampire sent to Dre Yank. Secret destroyers hold you up to the flames. Now, you know, the lyrics to that song is from Smashing Pumpkins, and that song creeped in to the speakers buried under the bed. He rolled over and reached underneath it, trying to grasp the metal and plastic casings to pull them out and hear the music more clearly. Yet he was too sleepy still to decipher what all his hands were grasping for. There were so many things he'd shoved under the bed that made him feel even more like a rogue agent to the organized and structured humanity that existed out in the real world. He felt the peel of an orange or lemon, perhaps the wiring of a cable clip to merge wires together, and a stuffed chimpanzee that a friend had brought him from a Renaissance festival a few years back. Then he touched it. The dense and smooth metal casing felt like a friendly touch to his fingers. He wrapped his hand around it and began pulling it towards him. Despite of my rage, I'm still just a rat in a cage. The speaker blared loudly just as he pulled it out from under the bed. The sound jolted him awake. The metamorphosis from lucid dreaming into reality was sudden and certain. He began to look around his room. At first glance, his living space resembled that of a teenage or college graphic art student. Concert posters draped the walls. Books on design, sound, and music were scattered around the flooring. A half-eaten pizza still in the box sat on a stack of magazines, and a bottle of enzyme medication was surrounded by a collection of glass cups. This one room was the only place with a bed in the sprawling building that resembled a greenhouse on one end and an adobe hut on the other, and this is where they slept. He had speakers everywhere, all routed to different amplifiers, computers, and machines to keep the music and sound medicine flowing. Out in the main room and hallways were organized bookshelves and large walls painted as murals. Justice was there, displayed as a painted silhouette in pink that accented and accentuated his mystical presence throughout the entire property. Justice was his inspiration and closest friend. Viewed by visitors as a salamander that made a cool-looking logo, Justice was not a creature to mistake with a shrug or passing glance. He had mystical powers, as all axolotls do. 
He could see into the hearts and minds of people, particularly creative individuals who felt misunderstood and lost in the world of conformity to mass media. Justice would speak to their hearts and minds in a way that only they understood and infuse a spark of creativity within them that translated into truly metamorphic artistry. He did all of this by just being still, being present, and patiently waiting for you to connect with the divine within you. As he helped the artists connect with themselves, this creative brilliance would come alive from within the heart of the artist to bring inner healing to the individual and then radiate out to the rest of the world. This was his purpose. And in the everyday life of this one sound engineer, the supernatural would invade time, space, and consciousness once again today. He looked up at his desk where his sound mixer, compressors, and equipment sat next to his computer. There lay Justice, looking at him with his big, gentle, and inviting eyes. Okay, time to get up and get to work. Now, this story came from a couple different places. Uh, I wrote a story about Justice and about the axolotl for uh, somebody that's very sweet and very uh, close to me for Christmas. And when I was going through a book I have that's all about writing prompts, uh, the subject matter of the supernatural invades the everyday, as I started reading that, and as I started looking at the keywords that I had to include inside the story, which included metamorphosis, rogue, shrug, salamander, sleepy, chimpanzee, enzyme, lemon, glance, and merge, this story began to unfold for me. And I went back to something that I'd written for somebody else several months ago and brought part of that story into this one. But that's where the story came from. And that's why the idea of justice, which we typically think of making wrong things right, if it has more of a spiritual connotation, it can bring something else out of us. It can give us the opportunity to see within ourselves ways that we haven't been just with ourselves. And one of the ways that we can bring more justice in our own world is through creativity. Because th through creativity, it's when we are harmonizing ourselves with the divine that lives within to bring something new into the world or to make something that already was even better. And in that case, justice is something that becomes an inner truth for us and an inner reality, which then we get to experience in our outer world. What do you think? If you want some more awesome inspirational stories. I have over 10 short novels available for you at growthfarming.com. You get not only the digital ebook, but also the audio book with my voice acting in that all bundled together all at once. Instead of having to do one or the other, I give you both. So go check that out. It's at growthfarming.com. I appreciate you being here and being a part of what it is that I have to share with you today. I'd love to know your thoughts on this story. So drop a comment down below and let me know how this story impacts you. I appreciate you. If you haven't already, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. I love you. I appreciate you. And I'll see you again soon.